Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earth Pen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about bacteria and viruses. Germs, bugs, prokaryotes, monerans, whatever you call them, these bacteria outnumbered every other kind of life on this planet. Shouldn't we be afraid of them since we are taught they bring diseases? Well, let's dive in and find out. So what are bacteria? Bacteria are very tiny organisms that are everywhere. We can't see them in our naked eyes. Bacteria are single-celled microorganisms. That means they live even though they are only composed of a single cell. They come in all different forms like rods, spirals, and spheres. Some can swim around using long tails called flagella. Well, let's ask the obvious question. If they are mentioned, we automatically assume that they are dangerous. But are they really dangerous? Well, most bacteria aren't dangerous. Actually, most bacteria are very helpful to us, and they help the planet's ecosystem as well as human survival. But unfortunately, some are, and can make us sick. Those dangerous bacteria are called pathogens. Now pathogens can cause diseases in animals and even in plants. Yes, plants do get sick. Leprosy, food poisoning, pneumonia, tetanus, and typhoid fever are some examples of diseases caused by bacteria. Lucky for us, we have antibiotics we can take which eliminates the bad pathogens. They can also enter our bodies through our wounds. But again, we also have antiseptics that will clean our wounds and antibiotic soap we use to wash to help keep off bad pathogens. So learners always remember to wash your hands. Now bacteria are mostly found in the soil. Some bacteria are very important to us since they work hard in the soil for us. Like the decomposers, they break down material from dead plants and animals. And in exchange, they create soil and get rid of dead tissue. Another type of bacteria in the soil is rhizobium bacteria. They help fertilize the soil with nitrogen for plants to use when growing. Now fun fact learners, did you know that there are lots of bacteria in your food? But good thing, for that they aren't really that bad. In fact, bacteria are used when making foods like yogurt, cheese, pickles, and soy sauce. Bacteria are also present in our bodies, but these are also good bacteria. They help us digest and break down our food. And some bacteria can also help us fight certain organisms that can make us sick. Now, how about viruses? Not the ones in your computer, but the ones that affect our lives. Our physical health. Viruses are the ones that make any living thing sick. These are small particles that can infect animals and plants. And so these are the bad ones. Viruses are made from genetic materials like DNA and are protected by a coating of protein that can make them affect the cells of a living organism. They hijack the cells of living organisms, much like how they hijack out computers. They inject their genetic material right into the cell and then take over the cell. They then use the cell to make more viruses and take over more cells. In other words, they spread everywhere if they can. Fun fact learners, did you know that viruses cannot be classified as a living thing? That's because they cannot reproduce without the aid of a host and they don't eat food or have organized cells, which are usually characteristics of living things, and they just take over. They typically have one or two strands of DNA or RNA. They are also covered with a protective coat of protein called the capsid. They don't move or don't function when they don't take another cell. But when viruses invade a body cell and begin to multiply, they make the host sick and can even become deadly. So, how are viruses spread? Well, since they are very small and lightweight, they can just float through the air, survive in water, or even on the surface of your skin. Since we are all affected by this, viruses can be passed from one person to another by lots of things. Shaking hands is one factor since we touch everything with our hands. 
than touching food. They can also be passed through water. And especially they are transmitted through the air when a person coughs or sneezes and this could be inhaled by another person. So beware. Viruses can also be passed on by insect bites, animals or through bad food. There are lots of kinds of viruses out there. One of the most common is influenza which causes people to get the flu. Other diseases caused by viruses include the common cold, measles, mumps, yellow fever, and hepatitis. But the year 2020 has been difficult for us due to the virus called COVID-19 which is a new and yet to be extinguished virus. Well for us normal people, we can avoid viruses without becoming a superhuman. Just wash your hands with soap when you touch dirty things or in contact with a sick person. And remember to avoid putting your hands or fingers in your mouth, nose or eyes. Rubbing your nose or eyes can cause a virus on your hands to infect your body. Make sure your food is well cooked and as much as possible, avoid eating raw meat. Take your vitamins each day and get plenty of sleep and exercise. Well, medicine can only help a little but the key to treating diseases from viruses is our body's immune system fights off the virus. So let's strengthen our bodies and avoid getting weak. Developing vaccines also help a lot to prevent those viruses from invading our bodies. Vaccines help our bodies to build up immunity to a specific virus. One example of a vaccine is the flu shot. The flu shot tells the body to develop its own defense against the flu. So learners, even though we can get into a dangerous situation in a crisis like pandemics, let's just be aware of things to keep us safe. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.